Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here in Transport Fever 2 overlooking what looks like a very busy station uh, with a train about to come in. A nice little suburban route here on the... Uh, well, it's, it's treated as the outskirts. Well, it's not really the outskirts. It's, it's a town link to Bath, Midsummer Norton. This train is going to be heading into Canesham which will then allow people to get onto the main line service between Bath and, more importantly, Bristol, because that's the hub of almost everything we see on this lovely map we have here. Let's get out of there. Let's get the UI back. We're approaching the very end of 1979. So we're not much further on than we were in the last episode, I think. And why are we starting on that particular view of Midsummer Norton? Because that's something I want to deal with. Yeah, as you see, tra tra services, not just trains, any services which sort of head into Bristol tend to get rather busy. So as you can see here, uh, Midsummer Norton, which is a, a very modest market town out here in Somerset Way, uh, as is Twerden, a, it is a, a part of Bath. It's a suburb, if you will, not a terribly well-to-do place as far as I'm aware. It's, you know, but even so... Loads of people want to go in and join the big network here in Bristol uh, via Canesham, obviously, because that's as far as the Somerset and Dorset line goes. Uh, likewise, at Canesham, loads of people want to go into Bristol, less so going out to Bath, which is rather dis disappointing because Bath is a lovely town, uh, a correction, a city. So what I want to do is adjust this line here. It's actually getting a little bit old anyway, these trains. So if we bring you up. Actually, you're not that old. Actually, to be honest, the trains on the main line are older still. They're 31. And I would like to replace those. We do now have the uh, the, the high-speed train, the 125, available now. So I would like to replace those. But that requires a lot of money, which I don't have just yet. So we'll work on that. So what I'm thinking of doing with the Somerset and Dorset line anyway is actually chopping it because as you can see here in the sort of outer reaches of it Shepton, Mallet and Wells yet yeah, there are very few people waiting here and there's very little traffic between the two towns if we go into destinations here uh, if we look down to Wells how many people from here want to go to Wells? Uh, seven basically yeah that's not a that's not a train load is it? not even a small train load and from Wells how many want to go to Shepton Mallet? Uh, scroll down here. Where's Shepton? Yeah, 22. It's not a lot. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is cutting this line. So it only goes... Does it go to Shepton Mallet? I think it might go to Shepton Mallet. But Shepton Mallet and Wells will be served by a bus route. Or do I want... No. Actually, how many people in Midsummer? Let's, while I'm looking at the destinations, how many people here want to go to... The trouble is Bristol isn't just Bristol. It's a whole collection of little ta little townlets, if you will. Uh, so, Hotwells, War War no, Avonmouth, Corsham, Warmley. Actually, they're out Bathway, aren't they? Bishops. There are quite a few that want to go there. Uh, likewise from Twerton. We get these uh, Eastern Bristol Thornbury. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of people I think going that way. So what we might do is put in a bus route in here instead. Um, and I'm going to have to wait until 1980 because we get some sexy new buses in 1980, which I might use. They're a bit expensive, so they might be overkill for this line, but we shall see. Anyway, the Somerset and Dorset line. Let's get a train up, shall we? There's our line. It is reasonably profitable. As you can see, it's been making a fair amount of money over the years. However, the individual trains aren't that big. 58. When you've got 300 people waiting, no. So I think if we have the same number of trains, make them bigger, but not going so far, basically, we can, uh, we can deal with this. Uh, so what I actually want is to get some more money. And of course, we're now, we've now had the summer update. Which means I can now shift click, I think, on this and borrow, uh, is it 5 million at a time or 1 million at a time? 5 million at a time. That is so handy. Uh, anyway, yes, so we want to manage these vehicles. 
Now I don't think we've got anything terribly exciting or new coming up to replace these. New uh, 104s I think. I didn't check this out before we started recording. Yeah, 104. So that's uh, you guys here. And you will be the four car with two engines, I think. Yep, 70 miles an hour, 58. So we've got the 110. See, there's the 125. It's expensive. It carries a lot of people. But yeah, I think we need that on the main lines. So uh, we could replace you with that. The only issue with the 110 is there aren't so many variations of it. So we've got the two car. So if I put two of you together, that gives me 58 again. But what I'm thinking is, is we could actually have a three car. There you go. And a two car. There you go. Which gives me a 74 capacity. Which would be cool. Definitely. And I think what we'll do is we will replace those. Now, can I do that? 26. No, I can't. So what I'll do is we'll find one of these which is a little bit empty. Where are you? We'll get rid of the... Uh, that for the moment. You're going to Shepton Mallet from Midsummer. I think we could sell you. Is there one out here as well? On the Wells side. Uh, there, sh there should be. Ah, oh, there you are. 22. Yeah, if I sell you, let's... Yeah, let's sell you. That's what we will do. We'll sell you. Uh, and that will give me a bit more money, which means I should then be able to replace all these three trains with the consist which is forgotten uh, no don't do that we'll do this so it's going to be a three car and a two car 19 million splendid that's done that and what i want to do is edit the line as well so we're not going to go to so you're not going to wells so do we want to go to Shepton Mallet? To be honest, I'm tempted. Let's leave it going to Shepton Mallet for the moment. See how that works. I might actually reduce the line further. So we again have buses going up from Shepton to, to Midsummer. Okay. Uh, does, oh, does that work? The line works. It's happy with that. That is cool. Yep, that's splendid. So we will carry on with that. And in the meantime, we need to get a road in. Uh, that's the trains. This is tracks. So this is going to be street. It's going to be country. Country roads. What sort of uh, tarmac four lane country? Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to own it. Again, a lovely new change as part of this uh, summer update. So you could follow. Actually, it might be safest to follow the... Yeah, the train track, I think. Can uh, let's get rid of you. If I take you from three hundred, good grief, you're expensive. Uh, you're a little less expensive. Oh, these these are better two lane roads. That's much better. Asphalt or tarmac doesn't seem to make much difference, to be honest. Two lanes should be fine, I think. Uh, I don't particularly want a bridge in there if I can help it. Okay, let's get this running along here. up there. But where do we want the bus stop to be? I think oh, we've got bus stops here already. Well they're presumably for the local service aren't they? Which is a lovely impossible to see grey colour. Excellent. Darker grey, that's a bit better. I've got you in there. What's this exclamation mark? Train 50 has a problem. Why do you have a problem? Oh, where do you want to go? You want to go...
You don't actually have a problem. You're just pretending to have a problem, aren't you? OK, if we turn you round and then round again. That's it. OK, let's have a closer look at that. Can we get that before he goes into the tunnel? Get a lovely looking model. Excellent. We've got wells here. Yeah, we've got bus stops ready. We just need to put those in. Right, we're waiting for the end of 1979. And here we are. Some beautiful Leyland Olympian double-decker buses have turned up. Including uh, first Barbie liveries, which you might see in the Bristol... Well, <clears throat> everywhere around here these days, but also... And I'll use that one. Another livery, which I think, from when I when I remember seeing, I think you still see it occasionally. But I certainly saw it a few times when I first moved to this part of the world. Uh, another livery, which you often see in some more rural areas of Somerset. Okay, let's set this route up. It's a new line, and it's going to go from. It's going to be. Let's make it a nice. Yellow colour to match the train line that it's replacing from Priory Road to here, Wells Road. Oh, that's convenient, isn't it? <laughs> um, why are you going the wrong side? OK, can I put you on the other side of the road? That makes more sense, I think. But again, it'd be nice if this one in Wells wasn't on the same side of the road as... Oh, it's not. Ex excellent. As the local service. I had a habit in some in the old Transport Fever 1 series of calling my intercity buses mega buses. Now, Wells is a city. Uh, it's a very small city. It might, in fact, be the smallest city in the UK. I may annotate this if I've got that wrong. If, if there's no annotation then trust me, that's correct. <laughs> uh, Shepton Mallet certainly is not a city. But we'll call it a mega bus anyway. And now that's ready, I need to find a depot. Oh, there's a road depot to put some buses on here. Passenger buses. And we're looking at uh, which one is it? It's not you. You see, you are very expensive to run. But you carry 20 people and you go at 70 miles an hour. So that's the same speed as the train. And I'm wondering if they might actually get up to speed faster. Now, this is the livery I was talking about, the Badger Line. So if we put two on there for the moment, that's only, you know, it's just under one and a half million. And we'll put you on the Wells to Shepton Megabus Line. So they're on there. Uh, do we have? Oh, we have a depot in Shepton as well, so we can put two of the same bus on there. There you go, two of those. We'll buy those, and we'll put you likewise on the Shepton to Wells mega bus route. Oh, again, that is a lovely-looking model. Uh, I love the fact they've got the signage and everything working. It's going to Wells. And it's going on to Priory Road. Most splendid. What I think I'll do is I'll leave those to make money. Because we will need a fair amount of money to replace our main line services with the 125s. Which I really want to do. So what I'll do in the meantime is put in, as I've been promising for a couple of episodes now, our third airport up here which is kind of my Midlands airport. Uh, there is no airport, as far as I'm aware, no, certainly no commercial airport up, up here. There is one in Birmingham. Why do I always say Birmingham like that? I wish I shouldn't, I shouldn't really. <laughs> but we could put one up here, which hopefully will make our existing two airports even more profitable than they are now. So let's see what airports we have. Uh, a small airfield. Actually, I don't want a small one because that limits the planes we can fly. We have been using... Have I been adding more airport mods? I probably have, haven't I? <laughs> Regional, that's fine. That's passenger. It does say passenger, doesn't it? Yeah. So 
So you go in there, and you're going to cost me ooh, you, as little as five million or so. Ah, oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, how do I rotate you? <laughs> Pressing the R key for some other game that I've been playing recently. Uh, you could fit... Where could we fit you in? Do you want to be near Cam, which is kind of a major station up here? Actually. Would that work up here? It is very hilly. That's the, the issue we've got round here. And that will cause planes to do some very strange things indeed. We could put... Oh, you are cheap here. But then it doesn't want to build you, so... <laughs> oh, yes. This could be good. If I... Uh, you're colliding with the track. But if I spin you round... Whoops, a little bit like that. And we could put in a little station there, couldn't we? To link the airport to... To the network. I like that idea. I like that a lot. Now the question is, what sort? Will that be a train station or, or a bus line? It could be a little tram line, couldn't it? Yes, that is an excellent idea. That's what we will do, I think. So we'll, I need to give you some room. So the tram lines, the roads. Actually, let's put the road in. Let's do that. Uh, we want roads. We want these will be country roads, I think, with electric tram lines. Do I want to own them? We'll say no for now. I can always change my mind later. Uh, again, we'll put in... Trams aren't terribly fast, are they? So this will, this will be fine. Uh, straight road will do nicely along here, I think. That's good. Oh, we could link you to that bridge. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Yeah, if I run you along there. Connect you up to an impossible junction. In which case, what we'll do is we will remove that. We'll upgrade this road to match. Oh, uh, silly bridge has got cobbles. Okay, we'll see if we can deal with that. And I want to bend you out of there. A bit like that. And will you then connect up with... No! Not in any sensible fashion, anyway. Okay, it's a bit of a tight bend. Let's make it a little bit more... Oh, a little more user friend it doesn't want to do it does it it does not want to do it okay I'll leave it like that for now and then we'll see what happens uh, and we'll then put this road back you're a, you're a standard dirt track basically aren't you so you can go in there like that not anyone was using that road but hey ho okay so our airport Go uh, around here, like so. A little bit further out, like that. I think that works. Now we want a tram stop. What good tram stops do we have? Uh, ooh, we do have. So Let's just look for passenger one, shall we? Uh, can I type in tram here? I can, and will it give me anything useful? You're a little bit on the big side, to be honest, but nonetheless, I do find you kind of attractive. And where's the connections on this airport? <laughs> oh, there's one there. Good. Okay. So that could work. But as I say, you're a little bit on the large side. What about this one? Can I turn you round? This is going to be tram. Ooh, 
Oh, you fit in quite... Ah, uh, you do fit in. That's most splendid. But the tram line is there. We want the tram on the other platform, I think. Oh. Actually, where is the platform? The platform is on the road, isn't it? There. Not that little sort of stop off the off the side. That works. Yes. Oh, hang on, what's that? That's definitely not... If I say that's... Ah, there it is. Good. That will work for me. If I make this road a little bit shorter so we can fit that station in. Oh, that works quite nicely. Definitely. No, we want you, wasn't it? That was it. Uh, with electric tram track. And you're done. Magnificent. Okay, so we're going to want to put a tram line through up to the station here. Right, let's upgrade these roads. These ought to be city roads, of course, now. Uh, we want them to go reasonably fast. 30 miles an hour. Yeah, they have to be really wide roads, though, if I want to go faster than 30. Let's see how 30 copes. Okay. Uh, so we'll upgrade. And it's upgrading. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, these, these are all the same size roads, so there's no problem at all. Will this... Uh, that's not a very good junction, is it? I, uh, will we have to come down through here? Looks like we... Mm, mm. Shall I demolish that? Let's get rid of that. And can I put in a little bit of... this like that. That works a little bit better. That, that's much the same. I think that's better. Yeah, I'm happier with that. And then you can go along there and you're all done. Now this will be this will be the Midlands Airport cam. Because that's where it is. That's lovely. And we need another line. Uh, we, we, we could use another blue for this, could we? A nice subtle blue from that tram stop there. To there. If I change that to the other direction... Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. Yeah, some of these junctions are a bit tight for trams, but hey, they somehow manage to cope, don't they? That's our Cam Airport connection route. And we are going to need a tram depot. We could put that out here by the airport, couldn't we, actually? That makes sense to me. Uh, buildings. Oh, what's that? Miscellaneous. Ooh, city entrance signs. We might put those in place at some point. Uh, a little tram depot. This could be blue. It's definitely going to be a tram. I could. Are we going to have? Oh, we could connect it to Thornbury, couldn't we? By road or something. Not necessarily by tram. Actually, can I upgrade this stop? Configure. I can. Excellent. So I can add in, by the look of it, another bus stop if I want one. Well, actually, let's let's do that. Uh, has, is that done? It is. Yeah, yeah, it encroaches on the airport slightly, but we're not going to worry about that. And I can always remove it if need be. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the tram depot won't go at the end of that road, is all I'm basically saying there. So that will come in here. You know... Actually, what I'll do, uh, we'll take the tram track off and extend this road a little bit beyond that. And then put the 
the tram back on. I can... Oh, it wants to get to do the whole road, does it? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> right. Let's uh, put some trams on there. My vehicles. And uh, what trams do we have? Yeah, you're our fastest and most... Ex well, you're the most expensive. You carry the most people. Let's try the Mirage. We'll put two on there. Buy two of them. And I'll put you on the Airport Connect. That works! So we now need another route to Bristol Airport. From there. Uh, this won't be white. It will be a another shade of blue. Uh, where's Bristol Airport? Lulsgate Bottom. There you are. And you're going in there. And that could be the Bristol Midland Air. That is... Oh, actually, did I include a, a hangar on this airport here? I probably did, don't, didn't I? Yeah, we don't need a hangar here. Get ourselves a little bit of a refund for that. That's nice. I'm not... Oh, that is just the one terminal, isn't it? That's fine. Right, uh, let's get some... Oh, that, yeah, that depot is for the trams. I was confusing myself there for a moment. So let's get uh, the air depot. Buy a vehicle. Oh, we've got so many planes now. A DC-10 from Swiss Air. Oh, oh no, there's loads of them. Uh, no problem. The aerospace. That's nice. Uh, capacity 20. I have a feeling our existing is the Constellation, is it? Which is only 19. Go to Cardiff. Let's put the 146 on there, shall we? Oh, I need more money. Hold on. And with that more money, can I afford two of those? I can, just about. Okay, and you can go on the new Midland Air route. Let's see what you guys look like. Actually, I'm feeling I've only got one terminal on here, haven't I? Yeah, I probably do need a, another passenger terminal on there. That will do. Which means I can set these to go to different terminals. Nice! We don't get in each other's way. Again. Beautiful model. And all the mods that I'm using. I'm not sure if this is a mod. Uh, the livery or something about it might be. But uh, all the mods I'm using in the game, including those buses for example. And indeed those 110 trays we put down in Dorset and Somerset. Uh, they're all in my collection on Steam, a link to which is in the description below. I do love flying planes in this game. It's such a glorious view of the landscape, which is rather attractive, I have to say. Anyway, let's uh, come out of the airplane for a moment. Oh, he's climbing very steeply. Uh, let's get ourselves back to Cam. Do we have any passengers waiting for the tram? Uh, in a word, no. Where is our tram, by the way? Ah, oh, there he is. He's, he's coming along. Yeah, he probably wants the, the plane to arrive first. But what I will do, I think, is actually extend this road into Thornbury. Without trams. Uh, yeah, from there. What are you doing? I don't want that bit of road. I might put it back later if I need it. do I think okay another route 
from uh, from the airport bus stop there to where oh to the train station I think here in camp we need a different color for this let's go green shall we uh, oh is the, uh, I'm not sure there's room here oh those two services using the same bus platform okay well <laughs> this will be the Thornbury Airport link I think we're going to need some buses I'm thinking perhaps this one might work. It's certainly a lot cheaper to run than the uh, double deckers. You are a Chinese bus. Or can we use. Uh, oh, there's a Midlands one, isn't there? We've been using those. Birmingham City? Yeah, let's use Birmingham City. Pretend that's for an airport. Right, we'll take three of you for now, and we'll put you on the airport link. What's going on with our airport here? Is that Oh, we are getting passengers going to the airport. Excellent. Well, they've just missed their plane. There'll be another one along in a moment, I'm sure. Well, let's have a view of this. We're going in. Make sure we pick the right platform. Thank you. That's. Oh, this looks good, doesn't it? As indeed does the airport. Excellent. And they both got off. And I guess I earned some money, but I can't see that from here. I will do some tidying up, I think. I'll do some terrain painting to make that look like it's all part of the one thing. Right, okay. I think we'll leave this episode here. This is doing very nicely. One final check before we do go on our reworked Somerset and Dorset line. That's good. Uh, how are the bus is doing? Well, you're carrying people. Oh, not too bad, actually. 32 out of 80. They're still making a huge loss, but the buses, these buses are very expensive. Uh, so that's going to be an issue. There's 21 people waiting there. Okay, I think the bus route might well work. We may need to downsize the buses a little bit, but we shall see. Okay, we're reducing the waiting at... That was Twerk. Where's Midsummer Norton? Oh, no, that was Midsummer Norton. So let's reduce a little bit. Twerton. Yeah, tiny reduction. But these trains here. Yeah, they're, they're still doing very good business. Yeah, I think the adjustment in the route made them, where are we, with the end of 1980, a little bit less profitable as they worked out the kinks in the new route. But that's doing nicely as well. I think that is all looking very positive. And I have... Ooh, I still don't have quite enough to get the 125s on the map. So I think that is what is going to happen in the next episode. We will get those working. Do we have a plane coming into CAM? Ooh, what are you doing? You are coming into the airport and you will be picking... Pa oh, you've already got passengers from Bristol. Oh, that is excellent news. You are landing, aren't you? Yes. That is spot on. No, you're not. You're taking off. Or are you? No, 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 you are. <laughs> I can't tell one end of a map from the other. Or even an airport, for that matter. Anyway, so this this is looking very good indeed. Thank you so much for joining me today. hope you've enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever 2. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, though, if you've got anything to say, any hints and tips, recommendations or suggestions, or even criticisms of what we're doing with the game, please do let me know by dropping a note into the comments box below. It's awesome to hear from you, whatever you've got to say. And, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2, until next time, bye-bye for now.